Hello everybody. I should say good evening. It is uh, around 7 o'clock, almost 8 o'clock at night. I'm getting a late start because as you know I've been doing my job all day. I only work on the weekends so it keeps me able to document at least most of my activities throughout the days. The weekends I'm a little bit busy. Uh, what I've got going on tonight is I can't really call it a one kettle meal because while I'm cooking 99% of my food in that kettle right there tonight, I am going to be frying some rabbit meat in this little pan right here with a little bit of garlic. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cook that and then leave the lid on and the water on and set it down there in this right here in that hole or right next to it right there, I'm not sure. And uh, then I'm going to fry up the meat and while this is while that's cooking I'm going to be cutting the meat and cutting my garlic and getting everything ready. Okay. Well, we'll keep you informed as we go along. Okay, everybody, you can hear my dinner crackling behind me. And uh I wanted something a little more spicy than normal today. So I'm kind of digging down here and sure enough, there's some of the root right there. And so I'm just going to cut a chunk of that off and see what I can do. There we go, we cut a nice little, there we go. I cut a chunk, but it disappeared into the dirt. Well, he's the waste that. Oh, no, it's stuck in my knife, look at that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go try to see what we can do with this piece. This is still just my rabbit meat and some radishes and some of my meat seasoning. Frying that up real nice. All the over here, the rice is still in the warm water cooking, hopefully. In the end, we'll throw it all back on, but here's that little chunk of horseradish root that I skinned. And now we're going to try to cut into tiny little pieces in there and give my meat a little more spice. Okay, folks, to try to time everything right and cook everything right, I've already fried up the rabbit meat and the radishes. And now I've added the leek flour and the garlic, minced garlic in there. And while I was cutting those up and putting that back on, I put the rice back on with everything else up here to cook. So now when I heat this up, I'll take that off, let that cool down, and hopefully everything will be hot and warm at the same time. So that's all the goody goodies added together. Leek flour, minced garlic, a little oil, uh, radishes, or baby radishes, and rabbit meat, of course. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more oil to it. Just to protect those leek flowers. Okay, I'm going to pull this all apart and put it all together back together as a meal and plate it up and show you it all in the end. Alright guys. Okay, there it is. Two wraps stuffed with fried rabbit, uh, garlic, leek, radishes, uh, a hard boiled egg sliced in there, potatoes, see what else there was some other stuff in there potato kale zucchini as well as the horseradish that I cut in there to fry into the meat along with some rice that I sweetened for dessert with a little bit of sugar and butter and a couple flowers to eat as palate cleansers in between the two the that and the, the rice the wrap and the rice excuse me all right everybody that's what I'm having for dinner tonight Hopefully it matches what you're having for dinner. 
something nice and healthy from your garden. Man, that is tasty. As you can see, I got a couple bites already into it before I realized I forgot. I have not, I'm gonna pick up my plate, come over here to the fire pit. This is the salt water from the ocean that I'm dissolving and I'm gonna fry that up in the morning. I've just been too tired tonight, but what I can do for tonight is I can put my plate down here and I can literally stick my hand in the, here in the water and just sprinkle a little bit of that salt water, literally just sprinkle a little bit of salt water over that and that will salt up the whole meal for me for the night. I did this earlier for lunch and I forgot to show you, so I wanted to show you now. Man, it just, after no salt for five days, that was just such a nice treat, just that little sprinkle of salt water. All right, guys, as I said, this meal is just so good. I can't wait to get back to it. Okay, I just finally got into a bite. Yep, that had, that had the uh, horseradish in it, for sure. And I can whew, taste that, what it made me wish I would have had some water prepared. Really good. All right, this is this is gonna be a good meal, and I'm gonna be get healthy for cleaning out my sinuses with this horseradish tonight for sure. Talk to you guys later.